What's going on everybody? So before we get into today's video, I have three quick things I need to go over with you guys. First, and the most important, is that I challenged my very good friend Lawson Lindsay to a 30 day fishing challenge. So if you guys don't remember what that is, or if you don't know what it is, it's where you fish, film, edit, and post a video every single day for 30 days straight. He's nine days in, if you guys want to go see some awesome content, make sure you click that link in the description below. Go subscribe to his channel and check out some of his videos. He has some awesome content, some of the best out there. He does a lot of saltwater fishing. He has freshwater fishing. He has some pond stocking. He has a ton of stuff he's going to be doing over the next 30 days. So make sure you go check my boy out. Click that link in the description below. Go show him some love. Second, I haven't done this in a while either, and I just randomly stumbled upon this stat again, and that's this one right here. So what this shows me is that 74.7% of the views that I get are from people that are not subscribed. So a lot of you guys that are watching even this video, do me a favor, click that subscribe button. Come along with some of these musky hunts and bass fishing trips and just all the fishing that I do. I try to post a video three to four times a week and I want to have you guys be a part of it. So third bit of business and you guys probably are going to like this one the most. A couple months ago, I forgot that my good friend Trevor, T. Rev never fails. T. Brian, I fish with him on the res all the time. One of my very good friends. He pulled a muscle starting his motor. Now, pull the muscle diving off of a dog. <laughs> he gave me a $100 Bass Pro gift card that he just wasn't going to use, and I was supposed to use it for my 50k giveaway, and I just forgot about it. So we're just gonna give it away right now. So this is gonna go hand in hand with you guys that are subscribing to this channel. It's gonna give you a chance to win a $100 Bass Pro gift card. And even if you've been subscribed since day number one, do me a favor, just leave a comment down there in the comment section below. Leave a comment down there saying what you wanna see over the next couple months, what kind of videos you wanna see, what kind of fishing, just whatever it may be, just say what's up, I don't care. I'm gonna use a random comment generator, pick a winner, and then I'll announce it tomorrow and I'll get in touch with you guys. Let's get into today's video. What's going on guys? Ace and I are back out on another musky hunt. We were on our way up to our first spot and I saw a really big musky just swimming right underneath the boat. The water is super clean. We're probably in eight feet of water. We can see the bottom all around us too. So we're gonna do some fishing around here. Ace is throwing a TNA angry dragon. Probably throw a glider on and see if we can get Ace on his first musky. So last week when we were out, caught that walleye and a smallmouth. But Ace is on his musky hunt now. This is going to turn into Ace's series. We're going to get him his first musky, see how long it takes. Feeling really good. But I got to throw a GoPro on. We're going to try to catch this fish. Yeah, just keep casting it all around. He's around here. That was a big fish. That was a way to hype me up for sure. When you see one, dude, it's... Oh, it'll get you going. All right, here we go. We've got the DJ Customs Sinius Glider. It's the Rainbow Trout. Ace is throwing the TNA Tackle Angry Dragon. We saw a big musky swimming through here. Oh, guess I was stuck there or something. We're gonna see if we can find any fish around here. It was like right here where I saw it. I don't know if the boat spooked it or if it was just rolling around. It was moving. They stay in a pretty tight quarters. Oh, you just had something following you, I think. It curved off and went in there. He was in the shade, yeah. He was like, shoo, going straight through. All right, we couldn't find the fish. We're going to work over here, fish this creek mouth a little bit, and then work our way up the river a bit. Let's run it. So we made our way up the river. Pretty sketchy. It was like really shallow and rocky most of the way, but we made it. We're going to be fishing down this side of the bank. It's more of like a bluff wall. There's like really, really steep rocks and a bunch of rocks along the bank. Then we're gonna hop across and fish a bunch of down trees where Dennis and I have moved a ton of fish. The water's still pretty clean, a little bit dingier than it was where we launched, but we'll be able to see them, that's for sure. Should be fun. I'm gonna keep throwing the glider around, hopefully get one. I forgot my GoPro 5 cable, so I can't really charge it. My other batteries are dead, so you're gonna be here for now. You got Ace on the chesty, about to catch his first musky. Let's go. I'm gonna go with the boiler maker for a bit. Been throwing the DJ Customs around for a while, and Ace just switched to a glider too, so we're gonna see if they want something moving. 
it's not as loud as the angry dragon looking beautiful out here we're gonna see some fish today i think try this the try one or whatever it is yeah i like that color too it's good yeah your blade looks so good in the water oh doesn't it yeah, yeah. It's super flashy that one should be too and that skirt how funny would it be if i had a follow right now and an eight mine <laughs> doesn't even count Throwing the boiler maker for probably two hours or so. We've been fishing a lot of cover and different break lines, like real shallow to six feet. I haven't fished anything super deep yet, but I'm gonna throw the Mark King glider around a little bit. We're gonna work our way across, fish the side of an island. Hopefully, it's a little bit deeper, but where we're fishing is pretty shallow in general. There's only a couple deep holes, so who knows? Actually, we're gonna fish this stretch of trees first and then hop over. Lots of casting, not a lot of action. Unless we go over this dam, then that might be a lot of action, I don't know. We narrowly avoided going over the dam, and I threw this GoPro back on. Two dummies almost go over the dam. I'm just gonna use this chest mount until the battery dies on it. Hopefully we can catch one in the next 30-ish, 40 minutes. It's been a slow day. Water temperature. 53.5. What would you guys do in this situation? Let me know in the comment section below. Gliders, bucktails, rubber. You know what? I haven't thrown a rubber all day. Let me try that. What? I haven't thrown a rubber all day. Here we go, boys. Golden white dusa. I have not thrown rubber all day. Spent a lot of time with the glider. I spent a lot of time with the bucktail. See if this does anything. Got a fish, got a fish, yep. Oh, yep. It's running right at me down. Oh my god, dude. Wait, what is that a cat? Oh, it's, it's a, a freaking carp. carp. Are you kidding me? Are you joking right now? Carp. What is my deal? <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know, but I got stoked there for a second because he freaking took off. <laughs> Give me some. Big old musky right there. Musky. <laughs> In the mouth, dude. Look. In the mouth. In the lip. Go on lip him, boy. <laughs> what a stud carp. Well, it's not a muskie, but I caught him in the mouth, so I think it counts on the Medusa. Literally hammered the bait. It was hooked in the mouth, and I really thought it was a muskie all the way till it was in the net because I saw a big gold flash. And it was a freaking 20-ish pound carp. Uh. Bleeding a little bit. He'll be alright though. <laughs> I'm the king at all just right. catching random stuff. Alright, well we're gonna fish the pilings of the bridge and down to the ramp, call it a day. It's been carpy. You guys having some luck? Uh, he just called a musky not dying, but oh bye. That's awesome. <laughs> you guys bass fishing? Yeah. Nice. Stolace's GoPro. He just switched over to a micro Medusa, which I thought was a good idea in this little creek. The two guys that we just passed caught like a 25 to 30 inch muskie right in front of us. I think he was throwing like a spinner bait or a shaky head or something. I have no idea. Something small. All right. That about does it for me. You keep casting. We are back at the ramp. Making last casts. Fun day. Carpy. Ace's second ever musky hunt. He's down there. Getting everything ready to go. How was it? What do you think? It's cool. I wish I could have seen the musky in the beginning, but 
it was all good. Next we'll, time. We'll get you next week. Next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Are you down? Yeah. Tuesdays are musky hunts. Tuesdays are musky hunts. You guys heard it from the man himself. We are on Ace's musky hunt now. So, caught a freaking giant carp today. That was pretty cool. Very unexpected. Also, eh, not exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> carp Medusa. That's carp Medusa. Hot, hot carp bait. But. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can follow along with Ace's musky hunt. He is 10 hours, 10 hours in? Six hours, so 12 hours yeah, in. Yeah, we'll do 12 hours. So Ace is 12, 12 hours, hours into his musky hunt. We're gonna see if he can get his first ski in under 60 hours like it took me. 59 hours. Should be. I think it'll be okay. I'm going for 24. There you go. 24. 24 Two more hours. outings and I'll have one. You guys also guess in the comment section below how long it's gonna take him to catch one. See you on the next one.